My name is Ava Schwarz and I'm a horticulturist at Smithsonian Gardens as well as our social media manager. Hi, I'm Shelly Gaskins, horticulturist here at Smithsonian Gardens. We are in the Enidae Hop Garden, which is behind the Smithsonian Castle. Sign of the Dragonfly exhibit is about indicator species and about how the dragonfly can be used as an indicator species. An indicator species is a plant, an animal, or an insect um, that helps to gauge the health of an ecosystem. So if that plant, animal, or insect is abundant in the environment, that's a good sign for the environment. And if it's declining, then you would start to look for clues on what is happening in the environment. The idea for the sign of the dragonfly exhibit came from the dragonflies themselves. In this Moongate Garden Pond, there are always dragonflies. They're immatures, the naiads, need to live in fresh water in order to develop into dragonflies, which is why you're only going to find a, an adult dragonfly around fresh water. So without fresh water, you're not going to see any dragonflies. Most of the questions that I've heard around specifically the sign of the dragonfly exhibit involved what artists created these dragonflies? And I'm proud to say Smithsonian Gardens created the dragonflies. I am Holly Walker and my position here is I am the plant health specialist. My role for the Habitat exhibition was to uh, be a consultant. My background specifically is biology and entomology, so it allowed me to add scientific content to the panels, to the projects themselves. In the sign of the dragonfly, I got to help with designing uh, the angle of the wings and what were some of the uh, dragonfly exhibits, and just kind of giving additional content about their histories. This exhibit is really striking visually with the um, towering dragonflies, and it's a great place to have family photos. I see several groups and families taking pictures here throughout the day. I really enjoyed getting to see the projects kind of come to life. We got to see these beautiful large-scale insects and just really highlight them in a fantastic way and be a part of putting that together. I think it's a good conversation piece. It's also just a fun decorative aspect of the garden to just draw people in. Insects are such an integral part of many food webs. If we do not have insects, we do not have birds, we do not have a lot of our small mammals, and we definitely don't have fruit and we don't have flowers. So really they're a linchpin in the bigger aspects of our ecosystems. The sign of the dragonfly exhibit really highlights the interconnectivity and the fragility of the habitats. Threats to dragonflies are the threats to wetlands. So climate change and water levels, pesticide, runoff, agricultural runoff, pollution in general, um, habitat destruction. We work really hard, especially through our habitat exhibit, to talk about ways in which people can help promote insects, but not just insects, entire food webs and ecosystems. I hope that visitors can sort of have a better idea that all sorts of species that they're seeing are indicating broader concepts about the environments that they're in.